Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have this Samsung washing machine, front load washing machine, which shows a DC code, which means that the door lock is not working properly. Actually, I have replaced the door lock with a new part. This one, this part, which is located down here. This one, you have to take the retaining clip of this door seal from here, then pull the seal out, then you take those two screws and take the door lock this way and pull the cable out of it, then you can replace it. So that's how you replace it. But unfortunately I replaced it and I still get this DC error code and even if I close the door 100 times and very strongly I still get this DC code I hope you can see it it's still there okay so I think it is related with the main board down here so I will take the main board take it to the workshop and see if we can figure out what's causing this issue okay so here we are at the workshop so let's take the board out and see if we can figure out what's causing this issue while we are there at the washing machine i traced the wires that goes to the door lock and i found that the control wire goes actually to this connector over here so i'm thinking that this relay could be the issue so i'll inspect the solder joints of this relay and if the solder joints are okay then I think I'll replace this relay because I think this is what's turning on this uh, door lock. This door lock actually has heating element inside it and that heating element will flip the contacts of it. We have three bins here. Let me zoom in so you can see. Okay, so we have three bins. Bin number one, bin number two, and bin number three. These three bins, two of them turns on the heating element. The other one then goes back to this circuit board that will notify the circuit board or the controller that the door lock is engaged. Okay, so let's... I can turn on this lock actually, so you can see. Let me turn it on. I will use this box for safety. And I have this wire. I will leave it at 60 watt for now. To turn it on, we need to connect the wires one at this side and one at this side. So we'll connect the wires one at each of the outer bins of this door lock. This one should be the neutral wire and this one should be the life. Okay, let's take this black part. Okay, so here is the black part removed. And now when we turn it on, here is this plastic part, the black part should bob up and lock this part so that the door lock will not, or the door hinge will not get out of it. And that plastic part here, once it pops out, it locks here, this side, making this, locking this part, making it impossible to open the door. So let's turn it on to show you that the door lock is actually working. Okay, let's turn on. Let me zoom in so you can see this part when it pops out. As you can see, it popped out. Let me turn off. The heating element there is now hot and when it cools down, this will go down again. So the door lock is actually working. You just need to hook two wires at the outer bins and apply 230 volts to test this door lock. Okay, so now we know that the door lock is working and it's not the door lock. It's something to do with the main board. To take out this part, you need to undo all these glue cut the glue here, uh, put some alcohol there, and pry it open to take it out. But because I already repaired this uh, in a previous video and was these relays, the solder joint of these relays, this board now 
will come easily for me as you can see I can take the board out easily so now I want to inspect as you can see this is the previous repair and here is the contact of the relay these relays three relays it was a dry joint at these relays contacts so I resoldered this and the board back to work it was I think uh, showing uh, error 3c so now I want to check the solder joints of this relay and if the solder joints are okay this one then I think I will replace the relay let me take this silicon part so we can inspect the contacts of the relay Okay, let's inspect the solder joints under the microscope. Okay, as you can see, we are under the microscope and these are the contacts of the relay. And uh, I think, yeah, we have cracks actually. If you can spot a crack at this uh, contact of the relay, the other one is also, I think, cracked. This one is looking a bit better, but this one is definitely cracked. As you can see, the crack is really obvious. Let me zoom in. As you can see, it is uh, cracked, yeah. So it could be the issue of this uh, board actually. The other one I think is also cracked. Yeah, the crack is uh, actually also obvious. Or it's starting uh, to crack. Or the crack is just starting. Yeah, it is definitely cracked a little bit. Yeah, so let's inspect uh, the coil contacts of the relay and yeah, we have cracked actually at both of them so these are the contacts of the coil of the relay and yeah, I can move it actually both of them are actually cracked so I will solder them, all of them and uh, we will see if this will fix uh, the, this issue okay Okay, so I resoldered the contacts of the relay, this relay. So let's put it, put it back together and see if the washing machine will work. Okay, so here is the board installed. Let's turn on and see if we will not have the code again. It's the same board, let me show you. It's the same board. And here is the relay where we solder the joints of this relay. So let me put it like that. The door is locked. So let's turn on the power and we will try it. Okay, so the power is on. Let's turn on. As you can see, it's on. Let's turn on. And it's on. We should see a red lamp here. Yeah, it is there. And as you can see, it is working. So it's not the door lock. It's actually the relay that controls the door lock. Let me stop it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this repair. If you do, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.